I'm riding on the city of New Orleans In the north central Monday morning rain There's 15 cars and 15 restless riders Three conductors, 25 sacks of men we're out on the southbound Odyssey and the train pulls out of Kankakee Riding past the houses, farms and fields Passing towns that have no name and freight yards full of old black men The graveyards are rusted automobiles, help me out And it's good morning America, how are you? Saying don't you know me, I'm your native son City of New Orleans. I'll be gone 500 miles when the day is done. Well, I was dealing cards with the whole the old men in the club car. Penny a point, there were no one keeping the score. Say, won't you pass the paper bag that holds the bottle? You can hear the wheels are grumbling through the floor. And the sons of Pullman porters and the sons of engineers Ride their father's magic carpet made of steel Mothers with their babes asleep go rocking to the gentle beat The rhythm of the rails is all they feel And it's good morning America, how are ya? Saying don't you know me, I'm your native son City of New Orleans. I'll be gone 500 miles when the day is done. Must have been 1970, summer 70, something like that. Harry and I went over the bitter end together to see an incredible double bill. Opening act was Carly Simon and the headliner was Chris Christopherson. Yeah. First time he'd come to New York, the Cracker Jack uh, Nashville band. We knew about his writing and stuff, but never seen him live. And so we came over, we sat little camp little coffee house thing, four dollar thing, sit there at a the little table. Now comes Carly and does a great set. It's right before she hit with anticipation. It was just great. We knew the Simon sisters because they, at one point, the uh, Chapin brothers and the Simon sisters, people were trying to put us together as a, like that, new Christian minstrels, you know, thing. And, nah, nah, we didn't want to do that. They didn't want to do that either, so it was fine. But, uh, so we knew Carly and she did a wonderful set. And then Chris came out and did a, a set. And, and it was an amazing thing to watch him because he's a great songwriter. Not a great singer. <laughs> World class raconteur. Just delightful to be there and watch this. And I think that was the night that Harry said, I could do that. <laughs> but regardless, so he does a set, and about halfway through he says, You know, I was in Chicago last night, and I heard the best damn train song you ever heard. I brought a. Welcome, welcome the guy who wrote it. Please welcome Steve Goodman. And out comes this little guy, and no one knew who he was. What was going to happen? He sings this song and blew us away. Whoa. And he got a huge hand, huge hand, he goes off and, and he said, he has a friend of his, please welcome, John Prine. <laughs> and he sings Sam Spade, there's a hole in his arm where the money goes. And Harry looks at me and goes, what are they smoking in Chicago? <laughs> Unbelievable how great it was. And, and of course that week, Steve Goodman got a record contract because Chris brought him to New York and everybody saw him that night. And uh, later became a really good friend at a lot of benefit concerts with Harry. In fact, that the year after Harry died, every, every uh, Harry's birthday is December 7th, and every year he would go to University of Chicago, and, and uh, down in, uh, not, not University of, 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 of uh, Illinois, down in Champaign-Urbana, and it was a, there was a, um, what's, what, what's, what's, what's a campus, like a club, what, what do you call it? A, 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 um, Fraternity, yeah, it's a fraternity down there that they did an overnighter, a 24-hour thing, and they, and Harry worked it out so they would give all the money to World Hunger Year. So he'd come there and spend 24 hours on his birthday every year. So the year after he died, Steve Goodman said he would do it, and I, and I, I did it as well. I went down there and did it. So he's a great guy, and uh, but he died about a year after Harry died. Uh, he had cancer, and a wonderful performer. Well, it's midnight on the city of New Orleans 
Changing cars in Memphis, Tennessee. It's halfway home and we'll be there by morning. In the Mississippi darkness rolling down to the sea. And all the towns and people seem to fade into a bad dream. This train still ain't heard the news. The conductor sings his song again. Passengers will please refrain. This train's got the disappearing railroad blues. And it's good morning, America. How are you? Sam, don't you know me? I'm your native son. I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans. I'll be gone 500 miles when the day is done. Last chance. And it's good morning, America. How are you? Sam, don't you know me? I'm your native son. I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans. I'll be gone 500 miles. When the day is